Masters of Data Science. Uh, with that scholarship, I was able to uh, cut down the fee around 60,000. I would say I have some love-hate relationship and it's like face-to-face -face interviews. Oh. It starts from $75,000 to $80,000. That's good. Yeah. That's the basic. Hi guys, hi, hello and welcome back to another vlog. This is Caps Log and today, actually I'm tired because this is the fourth video which I'm shooting in a single day, but it's okay. Uh, I'm with Deepu here hi. in RMIT City campus and Deepu is doing Masters of Data Science. So Masters of Data Science. Quite a strong, difficult and a course which so many students want to do in Australia. So I want you to answer those, you know, inquiries or questions or maybe opinions which only you can give because you're doing this course. We made this video before as well, but it was in Hindi in a particular language, but that's going to be in English so that anyone who wants to join this course can understand this on a better perspective. So let's start. How are you? I'm good. It's Nervous? Good. Uh, not that actually. But oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So Master of Data Science in RMIT University. Okay. So before starting this video, before starting the main concept, I would like to know more on what's the reason behind why did you choose Australia? Uh, so, as I already told in the last video. No, like, forget that video. Okay. Start again. I've chosen Australia because um, I like the rankings of the university, first of all. Every student, like before, like, uh, you know, researching for their courses, yep. they always look for the rankings of the universities. Yep. So, as it's like uh, universal truth of every student all over the world, I went through the research of university rankings. And I got to know that RMIT University and universities like La Trobe, Swinburne, a couple of universities, there are a couple, more couple of universities that have high rankings. In, in that world, particular? In that particular, like, you know, uh, field. field. Okay. Okay. And after choosing Australia, why did you choose RMIT as the best option for you to do this course? So, uh, so I have applied like four to five universities, okay. which includes RMIT. Mm -hmm. And I have compared it everything, like the fee structure, the course, the scope, the future pathways, future pathways, and I guess and PR. Obviously the, the you know yeah, obviously the PR. So after like uh, analyzing everything, like you know, based on those factors, I have got I've made my mind to study in RMIT as because like it's it's the it was like in the 148 of the ranking all over the world and at I, that time at that time now it has become like uh, it rose up to one twenty yeah. third of like it always. Changing per year, so make sure to check it. Yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah, and uh, that course that I've like thinking to do, I was already made my mind that I'll do like in the field of AI mm -hmm. or like in data science. Mm -hmm. So I also looking for AI. Uh, I applied Masters of Computer Application mm -hmm. in Wollongong, and I was thinking to do that course also. But I compared both my RMIT course, that is data science, and yep. uh, this course on from University of Wollongong. Yep. And I got to know that uh, this particular field has like uh, booming and it will be bo more like booming in the future. So I thought like... So the you, you technically aligned these reasons and then you found out that the RMIT University has the best course curriculum and other opportunities for you to just be in this university yeah. and do the course. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So this was all the initial part. Now comes on the course thing. Don't be nervous. It will be easy, right? Um, before this, the first question is, What's the affordability? What's the fee structure of this course? Okay, uh, the fee structure as uh, like I joined RMIT on like last year, 2023, mm -hmm. uh, July. Yeah. So as of last year, 2023, 2023 July, it was like uh, 73,000. Okay. So it was like some uh, range between 73,000 to 80,000. Mm -hmm. I got 20% discount mm -hmm. uh, scholarship. Sorry, not discount. Yeah, scholarship. scholarship. And uh, by, you know, uh, with that scholarship, I was able to uh, cut down the fee around 60,000. So it, uh, I, for, for now, I need to give around 15,900 something. Per, per semester. Per, per semester. Per semester. Yeah. And, but by the way, the fees is always changing because um, it's like a course, right? It's university. So make sure to check it on the website. And I think it's like uh, every year. Every year percent. it changes with some percentage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it never goes down. It always goes up. So uh, make sure to double check whenever you're watching this video. The next question is, how the lectures are? How the professors are? Be honest. So, if I wanted to talk about the, teach, the teaching and learning, yep. I would I, I would say I have some love-hate relationship okay. with the teaching and learning. 
because some of the courses are very well structured and defined that yep. can be easily learned like some of the subjects yeah some okay. of the subjects and some of the subjects are that uh, hard to learn at, at the same point of time uh, the teaching is also not good i believe because um, if they are teaching you like from a b c they are giving you assignments of like x y z <laughs> so it's, yeah it's like that. but it's like a person has to um improvise on his or her personal way of approaching the questions and in a way that they can get the correct answers for the assignments for example if you're saying they're teaching abc and asking x y z so you need to work on d e f g okay. so make a way yeah. to be there so, uh, so you like need to be self study yeah self study self study and you need to be consistent you need to go like as we international students we need job Yes. and it, uh, it's our responsibility to make our food yep. to cope up with our rents and all it's it's just you need to balance life. yeah so based on that a intern session should be like okay i'll do i'll do work only and i'll do assignments only i strongly prefer you should to work it's it's a necessity for us but also attend classes because you will be in track what is happening around you right so uh even if we're getting some back i'm um, sorry not back if we're getting some struggle with the with the understanding of the course but as we were like attending classes and you were knowing what is happening around with the course so you would be prepared before only uh before like you will be prepared before technically yes technically. so so if you know something that's going to be happening in the future so that particular skill set you will be having so it will not be an you know issue for you to work on that yeah yeah makes sense now here comes the main uh just of this video uh which is uh answer it broadly take more time if you want but that's majorly important that's core structure of this course yeah. like how the assignments are what do they exactly teach you in this course what data science so you can speak on that to the audience if you if i want to talk about the course course structure yes. so you need at least 96 credits to pass this subject okay so you need to choose four subject sub per semester per semester okay. and each subjects cost or uh, each subject scores around 12 credits i think yeah it varies as well it varies yeah, yeah. okay exactly so as soon as you enroll in the course you get options to choose your subjects that right? which one you want to go in yeah okay before that you get one recommendation uh, courses like before choosing the course you could you, you have a recommendation subject to choose upon them if you change your mind also you could choose different subjects also that doesn't mean that you are going the wrong path yeah it's just your It's just your. You preferences. want to, yeah. It's just you want to jump into one to the other. Yeah. If yeah. you are like, uh, you know, if you are like more into AI, artificial intelligence, then you can choose that. Yeah. Uh, if someone is more into like machine learning, if someone is more into into like data mining, so they can choose uh, their own preferences. Yeah. Like that. And what do they exactly teach? Like, do they actually ask you to write something, or do they want you to create something like a website or like a tool, or what do they? It varies with subject to subject. For What example, are you exactly studying? Basically, as a data science student, we need to deal with coding a lot. So we use R programming as as our like uh, primary, you know, primary source of uh, knowledge. What no, kind like of primary uh, program? Program. Primary language. program. Okay. And the second is like your Python. So these two goes hand in hand. So it will be good. Like it's it can be an advice for the person that if you're coming to this course, make sure to learn Python. and are programming beforehand if you can like yeah so i would cuz they're not like, going to teach you programming exactly right they will teach you i mean if you are like in your first sem if you're choosing this subject called uh, programming fundamentals with python they will teach you from scratch hmm? but the thing is that you won't be you won't be having so much of time to learn balance it out yeah, with your work and all so it will be better to just yeah, learn yeah, it before because you won't be able to learn within 2 and 1/2 months yeah, the programming language obviously yeah you need practice and you need time for you yeah. know the programming language before beforehand makes sense and for the assignments what type of assignments do you do so it also varies example example you could you could you might able to uh, you might ask to uh, you know a pen paper test oh okay or like you also might need to do uh, coding mhm mm or else you might do quizzes you might also have interviews and it's like face to face interviews oh yeah <laughs> so the, the this is one side it has varies it has very uh, varying uh, assignments and like different type of different structures types. to depends on which specialization you are looking for yeah. but you are looking for uh, uh, basically business analysis or data analysis oh, okay. so but like, a person can go in ai machine learning or anything yeah 
in this particular course. Okay. And more website will or more information will obviously be in the website if you want to check out. So the next question is, uh, whatever you know, after doing this course, what type of future pathways, what type of job roles occur a person uh, can be? As I've researched and like gone through many jobs right now. So uh, if you are like in the point of view of like getting a PR, it is like uh, you have, it's, it's like you have very limited uh, jobs that you can do and get a PR. But we'll go on that on the next point. But what's what so are the basic like, uh, for example? Like, if you want to grab a job after this course, so you can become a data analyst, business analyst, data scientist, data architecture, or like data entry jobs. This, this, the uh, basic levels, these are the basic levels. And if I wanted to talk about the base salary, so it starts from $75,000 to $80,000. That's good. Yeah. That's the basic, yeah, junior basic, level. Basic, junior level. That's a good point to note. Okay, um, in this, in respect to this, the next question that's the final question. Whatever you know about permanent residency, if a person wants to stay in Australia after doing this course, what are the ways or what are the way you said that? So uh, the only way to get a job is to see your occupation list that comes under PR. So yeah. if you want to take a PR, you need to see your uh, job role. Job that, is it present in the occupation, in the occupation list? list. So in the occupation list, uh, there's very limited number of jobs Roles. that is listed for you to get a job or sorry, for you to get a PR. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, the jobs are like data analyst, as I told, business analyst, data scientist. So, these are, this, this are the jobs. These three are present right now. It may change in it future, but they are in the, and, and uh, the other roles are not exactly present in. They are like, after doing this course, you could do other types of jobs also, but they, but would they are not, not in occupation list. Yeah, they would not give you. The, is, do you know anyone who is, who, who get? Who got a uh, PR in this field? Is it easy? Is it tough? This field is very tough as a huge competition. Huge competition because uh, like uh, you get a lot of. So it is. I'm not talking about the numbers who are applying for the job. I'm talking about the interest what you are giving out or what you need from this course. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there are there are a couple of jobs. There are more. There are many number of jobs you could find in LinkedIn, uh, indeed. So yeah, and I would strongly prefer to prefer students to go for graduate schemes. Graduate so, programs. Graduate okay. programs. Yeah. So it That's helps a good you way to your, boost up your resume, resume and your and work schemes. That makes sense. Okay. Easy peasy. No way. So this was the main question. So the last thing is, it's not a question. No way. Okay. What's your personal experience? Like what's about RMIT, about Australia, about the course or anything that you would like to advise to the students or anything that you don't like as well that you want to talk. It's all on you. Whatever you feel like. Be comfortable. So, I think I like RMIT. Because mm -hmm. it's high brand culture. High brand culture. High brand. And uh, the the belongingness of students. Students. Yeah. Uh, you don't feel any racism thing or yeah. any, at all. Yeah. You uh, you are feel like you're loved by yeah. everyone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's all. And if I'm talking about if I would like if I talk about Australia, so the people are good. People are humble. Uh, you could uh, people might say you hi hello uh, without any motive i mean without any yeah, well, intention in, uh, but it's it's good to be here it's good to be here and uh, anything that you don't like there are a couple of things that i don't like <laughs> you can mention if you want yeah and uh, like uh, it's not like don't like uh, people think living in india people think it would be it would be so nice to go to australia and study i'll earn this much i'll earn that. that's not the case that's not the case after you land here your mind starts to ponder like what What's the step I should do now, now to get yeah. this step? Next step. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, it's not about your like pre-processed thinking of what you're gonna be doing. Yep. It's always your it's always your thing that what you are doing now to get something. I mean, not I'm not able to construct sentence. I'm trying to say like uh, people who are think who are in India or any parts in the world are like thinking everything will be all right. It's not like that. You have to do struggle. You have yes. to be, uh, you know, uh, be a little strong and confident in, enough to understand and tackle the situations which happen in real life. And that's okay because yeah. everyone starts from somewhere, but it's okay. And, and, and I need to, you know, continue his sentence because he's a little bit getting nervous and it's <laughs> totally fine. By the way, this was the video. Thank you for coming, buddy. Thank, Thank you so much. much. And I hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions, Here's Instagram coming. Make sure to comment and whenever you get time, please reply to their questions. And also you can comment down below and even you can come back to the same video and reply to the comment section as well. Um, my Instagram is also in the description. So make sure to like, share and subscribe this video and we'll 
be back with any other topic if you want just comment down below thank you bye